Are you looking for a real good value on a home to purchase in Lakewood Ranch? Well, today I want to talk about what's possible on bank owned properties, pre foreclosure properties, new and resale. First off, let me introduce myself. My name is Troy Funk, and that's Funk, F U N K, Fun K. I am a licensed real estate broker in the state of Florida, and I've been a resident of Florida and in sales going on 40 years now. And in that time, I've learned a few things. And I remember Lakewood Ranch when there was no Lakewood Ranch. And here we are, one of the fastest selling, uh, growing communities here, not only in Florida, but in the, in the United States. Lakewood Ranch has been a popular choice. So why is Lakewood Ranch a popular choice if you're thinking of new construction or just buying in the Sarasota market area? Well, Lakewood Ranch has always offered the value proposition of new. So if you're looking for new construction, they've had new construction for the last 20 years in Lakewood Ranch, and the community continues to grow. Now, I'm surprised at how fast it has grown. Now, in uh, Lakewood Ranch now extends down to Sarasota County on Fruitville Road, windward, and goes all the way up to State Road 64 in Bradenton, Star Farms. Lakewood Ranch has grown <laughs> immensely in that time. Lakewood Ranch is a lifestyle community. You may be thinking, where am I at? I'm, I'm at the beach, right? No, I'm actually in Waterside in Lakewood Ranch. And this is really fun because they created this simulated beach with volleyball courts and we're on the lake. And you can see I'm, I'm actually enjoying a sunset over the beach here in Waterside. Now, Waterside is a newer area where they have a downtown section. On the weekends, they have farmer's market. It's just a fun place to be and a fun place to live. Lakewood Ranch was created to be a lifestyle community. Because it's all new construction, this whole area is very well planned out and it feels very safe here. Now, there's older areas in Sarasota and Bradenton and such where they've been around. They don't have the same feel of community that this does. This actually feels like a community area and that's why Lakewood Ranch is so popular. So you, you get to the point where you're saying, okay, Lakewood Ranch can work, but I want a good value on a home to purchase. Well, the possibilities are really good right now. And let me just talk about possibilities. Possibilities, foreclosure, resale, or new construction. So let's just first off dive into foreclosure. What's possible for foreclosure? Well, right now uh, I have a couple opportunities on foreclosure. And let me just break down foreclosure for you. Now foreclosure, is when the seller uh, can't make the mortgage payments on their property and in some cases the bank is either foreclosing uh, and the seller sells it before the property is foreclosed or the bank forecloses and now the bank owns it and now they need to sell it both situations you're dealing with a very motivated seller and those are opportunities where as a buyer you can find a great value now the downside is you're not buying a new home, <laughs> you're buying a resale. And in some cases, you're buying a resale that needs a lot of work. So if it needs a lot of work and it's a resale, you need to find it at a good value. And that happens. It happens in this marketplace where you can find a, a pre foreclosure or foreclosure at a good value, even in Lakewood Ranch. Right now, we've got a couple opportunities, but the market is always changing. So let me just share the, the opportunities that we have right now in Lakewood Ranch. I have a property that I've been assigned by the bank to be their real estate agent to sell this property. They have gone through litigation and the bank will then own that property and the bank wants me to sell the property for them. Now this home is in the country club at Lakewood Ranch. It's gonna be north of 1.5 million, but it's gonna be a good value. And why it will it be a good value? because this, the seller, the bank wants this property sold. They're gonna be aggressive on the pricing and a buyer can go in and get a good value, but it's not necessarily gonna be a pretty situation. <laughs> Meaning, when you buy a resale that, that has been foreclosed, it, it may need some work. Work like what? Uh, paint, carpet, cosmetics, it may need to be freshened up to the standard, feel like you can move into that. But, you're buying into equity. So if you buy a foreclosure, you could actually buy into some equity and then have the opportunity to, to renovate the house you want. So that's a situation in the country club of Lakewood Ranch where we have a property coming up 
We also have another property that is going through foreclosure in the country club of Lakewood Ranch where the seller owes more on the property than what the value is for the home. So we priced that home and it's priced about 1.8 million and the mortgage balance is probably about 2.2 million priced below the mortgage because the seller needs to sell it. It, it is facing foreclosure. Now that's actually a short sale. And what that means is if we have a buyer that says, yes, let's come to terms on this purchase, we then have to go to the bank and ask them to forgive the difference. Otherwise we have a, a buyer willing to purchase this home so it's not foreclosed, but we're, we would have to ask the lender to reduce their mortgage amount so the house could sell, the seller can walk out of there without a foreclosure. So that's, a pro that's another possibility right now in Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch was built on the premise of always having new construction, and there is a lot of new construction. This is now there's a lot of nice communities out here, but we are in Waterside, and Waterside, of course, is newer. Uh, it's got a the little downtown. It's got some vibrant energy to it. And adjacent to here is Shoreview. Shoreview is a real nice community, and right now the builder is still there, but they don't have any spec houses. Actually, well, I, I take that back. There, there's one potentially coming on the market, but this market's always changing. Right now, it, it doesn't appear that there's any spec housing. So if you go to Shoreview and say, I love Shoreview, I want Shoreview, build a new home, you're about a year out to build a new home. Now, you may not want to wait a year to build a new home. So there, there are two homes currently for sale in Shoreview that are resale opportunities in the one six under two million mark. Now that's Shoreview. Lakewood Ranch price point uh, as of today <laughs> is in the high threes all the way up to the millions. So in that range, you could live in Lakewood Ranch, new construction. Now, is new construction better than a resale opportunity? Well, it shouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, historically, if you buy a resale home and the builder is still in the community, the resale should be priced better than a new construction, uh, such as the foreclosure and such. If, the, if there's a foreclosure and, there's a, and the builder's still building, the, the foreclosure needs to be priced below the value. And that's true on the properties that we're marketing that are going through foreclosure, the banks foreclosing, they're gonna price those homes below builder models just to sell them. Now resale, Lakewood Ranch, it's kind of a funny time <laughs> because builders got stuck with a lot of inventory and they actually got stuck with some spec housing here in Lakewood Ranch. And that, this is a good opportunity if you're looking to buy because builders have inventory they want to get rid of. Now that, a lot of that inventory has gone away but there's still some really good values on builder inventory spec housing right here in Lakewood Ranch. I was working with a, uh, some buyers last week and we started looking at Windward and we looked at Indigo and some, some options that were possible and then started looking at the resale. Now, I would have thought that on a resale, we could do a lot better than a builder new home. And I was wrong. We found a house in Indigo, resale home, a beautiful home and then went back to the builder and they pretty much uh, were willing to negotiate a price way below that resale and that was a great value because you're buying a new home uh, in a community way below what the re what the resales are selling for because the builder is is moving out of that subdivision this is indigo i'm talking about where the builder is slowly closing out this, their presence in that area. So they're getting rid of their last homes. Good value right now. So that's one option for finding a good value is just timing. Timing on what subdivisions there are, what builder opportunities. But typically you can get a better value on a resale. And an example of that, I had a uh, pre-foreclosure in Polo Run and the, the owners was very motivated. The only way we could sell that property would be to price it below what the builder was offering the exact same home for. And that's what we did. And the house sold below builder model, below a new construction values. And the buyer got a great value on it. So there are great values when you're in a market that has changed, which we are. And Lakewood Ranch, very desirable market. A lot of people want Lakewood Ranch. 
and because they want Lakewood Ranch, we continue to see a lot of upward pressure of buyers coming into the area. But they also want a good value. And when you're coming into Lakewood Ranch, you can get a good value if you have an open mind to possibilities. If you're gonna look for, re if you're looking at resale, you have to get it below what the builder is offering to build that house new. Because on a resale, it doesn't have that sparkle. It doesn't have the same pizzazz and you're not getting a new house. You're getting a home that's a resale that you may not like the coloring on. You may not like the tile color. And because it's not exactly what you want, then you want a good value on it. Now on new construction, can you always get it your way? Not so much. Now on new construction, builders typically already have their color specs built out depending on the price point of the house. Entry level housing in Lakewood Ranch. Now the higher price point you go on builder, you get more options on what's possible. So there's, there's kind of a line on when you build a new home, what's possible for choices. You're going to have more choices the more you pay for the house. The idea is to be open to all possibilities as the market is always changing. But when you're looking at Lakewood Ranch, make sure you're looking at the foreclosures. Make sure you're looking at pre-foreclosures, bank-owned foreclosures, because those are extremely motivated sellers. Builders. Some of the builders right now are offering some great incentives that are even better than the resales. Now, when you look at resale, if the price, if, if, you, if it's gonna cost you more on a resale than buying a brand new home, then buy the brand new home. That makes more sense right now. And now's a good time for that. Now here's why th things have just changed so much. A year ago, it was very challenging to find a home in Lakewood Ranch. The reality is that when you found a home, if it was a resale, you're in a multiple offer situation. And if it's a new home, you're gonna have to wait a year plus to have that home built. Well, there are some spec homes uh, through different communities and the spec homes are priced better than the resale in some situation. Great opportunity right now to be in Lakewood Ranch. I hope I've given you some value. And if I have, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you on my next video.